Happy New Year! I'm going to see all kids and we're going to say, well, wow, sharks and dolphins what? underwater. And do, dolphins I, and Philip, underwater. what are you going to say? I want to see a seagull and a dolphin and a mm. whale shark. All, all right. underwater? Yeah, I'm all hoping for orcas this year. And an orca. Whale shark, yeah. I think. Right, kids, so here's the promise. If we find you orcas, are you going to come swimming with orcas? Yeah. 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 Jason and I are heading off for our first dive of the year this morning. I don't know where we're going. We're heading out with the guests. Um, Arlo's going on a crab hunt, is that right? Yeah. Philly's playing with Grandma this morning. Um, Jill and Grant I are busy think with this guests. Has to for me. Oh. And yes, looking forward to diving into the new year. Woohoo! Good morning, Tufala. What are you two up to this morning? Decoration of the table. Decoration of the table. Happy New Year, boy Happy Dad. Happy New Year. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Grandma. Bye. Have fun. Have fun. I want to do some cooking. Good idea. What will the New Year bring? Who knows? I absolutely love New Year. I get excited about New Year. I don't know what it is. A lot of people feel it, I guess it's the end of a year, reflecting on what has happened and what you've achieved and then looking forward to an entirely new year and what is to come. And that's just really exciting! And we have a lot happening this year, so we'll be moving into our new house, we're continuing redevelopment of the resort, there's lots of other stuff happening within and around the resort and for our little family it's going to be a big one and we're really excited. <laughs> You know what's going to be a man. You know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. <laughs> dive this morning so many beautiful corals and lots of little fish around and we saw a hammerhead first hammer of the year first hammerhead that I've seen in quite a long time mumsy's walking up and now trying to hide hey mumsy <laughs> happy new year everybody happy new year grandma had a nice morning playing with Billy I think they made <laughs> some very interesting things actually this is a 
very grandma-esque activity this morning. Some little windmills, which is pretty cool. And the kids are just playing. Kids are currently playing in the backyard with one of the other guests who's here, playing with crabs. And it's time to head up and get some lunch. We're actually off duty today, so Jill and Grant are looking after the resort activities and resort kitchen and everything like that. So we are just doing our thing and hopefully spending some time with the kids this afternoon. And that's it. Oh. <laughs> How's your crab morning? Good. Yeah? How many crabs have you got? They're not on the trees. We got some crab mazes. Oh! Crabs are in the tree. Oh, my feet down. Oh, it has crab on the bottom. <laughs> oh, it's got in. crabs all over it. Put it back in. Crab mania. <laughs> Not well, look at them in here. Let Some us big stand ones. there. Let, just when they climb out and fall onto the ground. Okay. Yeah. What song is this? Keep going. Ah! Cool. Literally falling asleep. So. There's a very special song going on in the front year, front room. In the front year. Beautiful. It's called Twinkle Little Miss. <laughs> one of our days off duty so Jace and I are not working um, directly with guests today so we kind of have a little bit of a day off but also because of how much work we have going on within the resort this year uh, we have a lot of uh, tasks to do on the computer ordering inventory and that sort of thing so my job this morning is to get the linen ordered and I'm looking at also alternate bathroom basins because the supplier of our original bathroom basins has closed down so now we have to find something quite similar because everything's already designed and planned out. So I'm working on the computer this morning while the kids play in the back room with Boyda and Jace is running around doing some other things but he's got a lot of ordering to do as well. But it's kind of exciting because we actually have a container being shipped over from Australia so this is our opportunity to get the big heavy things and the bulk of things that we need to get the next lot of new cabins um, to completion. So it's pretty fun but a lot of work on the computer. <laughs> So today is all about orders. We're putting together uh, a large order from Australia that's gonna catch us up with all the supplies that we've run down over the last three years due to COVID, and also all the supplies we need to keep this place running, as well as all the stuff we need to build two, uh, three new bungalows actually, which is commencing in like three weeks time. So uh, today I'm running around doing my last checks on all the supplies I need for these new cabins, making sure we're not forgetting any crucial elements because this is the chance. If we forget something now, it doesn't go in the cabin. Some for a nice face long garden. Barman, front of house, garden more. Come on, you guy. <laughs> hey, Judy, too, yeah. <laughs> Definitely one of the most remarkable things about UP is that we actually have such a diverse staff with such a diverse skill set that everyone has multiple things they do, multiple roles within the business. So. When we're operating, for example, Malachi is our bartender uh, on one of the shifts, and then when he's not doing that, he's in the cabins helping us build the rooms. Our head chefs are plasterers, um, or, or painters. Our housekeeping staff become our landscapers. We do everything in-house. We don't people, bring people in to do anything. Um, so like right now, you know, there's a bit of a hand needed in the garden, so Mal just steps out of that role and straight into another role. It makes running a place like this possible, because otherwise, just wouldn't be achievable. There's so many different jobs to do every single day that um, it would be impossible otherwise. So it's a real credit to our staff, but it's what kind of makes UP special as well. So in about four weeks, we will be closing the resort for a period to knock down a couple of the older bungalows and start this whole construction process again. 
which would be really cool from uh, the channel's perspective because we actually didn't film that much last time and we're really keen to show you guys what it's like. We of course shared some of the building stuff during COVID, but it was just a really different time. I'm really keen to show you guys the intense building program that we've got going on because this is all gonna happen a lot quicker than it did during COVID, which was dragged out over so many, over like two years. Um, we're gonna be, able to be building these cabins with a lot more people. It's all gonna happen a lot faster. So it'll be a really co cool process to document, show you guys what goes in to building a beautiful bungalow from scratch. So everything from the timbers being harvested from um, and processed all the way through to finishing off to a really high standard. So yeah, that's gonna be cool. That happens in a few weeks time. So it's a bit of a mad scramble now to get all the resources ready, make sure we've got everything and all the staff in place to make that happen because we're doing it a little differently and only closing the resort for a really short period of time to do the really loud tasks. So we have some very intense periods and then we have lots of time with guests in house just to do all of our finishing. Maybe not lots of time. Lee, it's not lots of time, is it? Um, anyway, um, what I'm gonna do now is do some last checks on my timber order because we bought a new supplier to help catch up with the timber needs for these new bungalows. I wanna make sure we got all nailed down, cut well and truly before we commence operations. And once I have that order in place and the guys can just like go nuts trying to get all that produced in time and we'll be ready to roll. All right, time to count some timbers. Woo! The last leaf now. Let me ring him the money today for try find Hey, welcome back Jimmy. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Willy. Oh, I'm going to come back, yeah? Come on, I'm going to come back. 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 Oh, and Harry's back. Welcome back, Harry. Welcome back. Good day. Shit, no, yeah. May forget that for work him? Yeah, level him up. About 150 mil come out, six inch come out now, then you one time go down no more. So now we are going to finish all the plastering, sand all the plaster work whilst we don't have the floors down so we can get all that plaster dust out. Then we're gonna lay our floors. Once our floors are laid, we're going to sand them and then we're gonna put our we're gonna clean everything, walls and floors. Put our windows in or just seal the window spaces. I've got some um, plastic sheeting to seal them off. And then we are going to paint and our floors and our ceilings. We're going to seal our floors and paint our ceilings. We have floors first, then walls and ceilings. And then finish off our windows going in. Um, put all our architraves and everything like that in there. So we're actually, we're, we're close. We're doing really, really well. So these, we've actually done it a bit in reverse what we would normally do. This is a means of not having to clean up as much. So previously when we've had the floors down and the windows in, when we've done any additional sanding, it just makes that an absolute nightmare to clean again. So we're really changing it up. Anyway, I think it's gonna work a lot better. So Harry is definitely not a plasterer by trade, but he's doing a really good job and he's learned a lot in the last year. So he's plastered most of the bungalows and most of this house as well. Again, very multi-skilled employees, which is amazing. This big central gutter here is going to collect roof uh, water from this tin roof and this leaf roof and drain it out and just come down on a chain here to keep it as clear as possible. We can't use that water because it has, and then it's collected off a leaf roof, has a certain algae in it, it's not safe for drinking. So we'll just route that and we might collect it for garden use or we might just um, plumb it down one of the massive cracks here or something like that, I'm not sure. Because we don't really have, I don't think we have much of a garden up here. We're not really having an issue with water because of the size of the overall size of the roof and the number of people here, it's huge. Up here, we will put, oh, oh yeah. up here we're gonna put some vertical <laughs> timbers like this, just like they are up in here. So they're traveling with the line of the roof, but these ones will be vertical. And that is where we're gonna then cut the wild beetle nut sticks to length. Cause as you get higher, the overall length of that rung of leaf gets shorter. So you can't pre-produce these like you do the rest of the roof. And you also have an issue in that the way you make it is by cutting the leaf into shorter sections so you can get two sections out of one leaf. So you have to do that like in situ as you do it. You put the lines where, the horizontal lines where 
those rungs of oh man that's confusing <laughs> oh i can't do it so you get your vertical timbers and across them you're gonna have these horizontal rungs of leaf those are marked in panels once you actually put those up you can measure them out and it gets smaller as you get closer to the pitch of the roof um yeah we'll show you how that all happens the time has come people it's got to come off we may have missed it for vlogmas but it's coming up today should i get my hair cut kids so what are you guys doing while i get my hair cut so we do arts and crafts while daddy fixes his head my mommy doesn't fix his daddy's head Just a little bit of a different one.